Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to access iStation from your mobile device or your tablet. Now this works with Android or Apple, so just know that you have access to, uh, regardless of the platform you are using. What you need to do is go to your app store and on the search bar go ahead and press iStation. You spell it I-S-T-A-T-I-O-N and go ahead and press search. Now you see the icon on my um, left hand side screen at the top. It's the little boy that looks like he's flying with the red cape. Go ahead and download the app and open. Now upon opening, you will see the configurations um, box pop up the only domain the only thing that you need to um, edit on this page is domain where it says domain you're going to go ahead and type in gruya g-r-u-l-l-a on the drop down you will see gruya elementary school and gruya middle school please make sure that you select gruya elementary if you select the wrong domain and the child um, tries to log in um, it will not allow them because they are not registered for that school. So please make sure you select Gruya Elementary. Once you do that, go ahead and please press enter OK. Please your username and password. Now, upon uh, arriving at this screen, the uh, your child is ready to log into the program. Now, what they will need to log in with is their school ID number. Okay. Um, their ID number. Whatever. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use my teacher login to log in. And their password for them will be their first name, all lowercase. Their first name, all lowercase. Now, sometimes they do type it in incorrectly. So if they're having trouble to log in, just press the little I um, where it says password. And doing so, you'll be able to see if they typed it in correctly or incorrectly. Go ahead and press OK to log in. Please select an activity or log out of iStation. Now, upon entering, you're going to see the page full of apps um, in the main menu. Go ahead and press the first one where it says reading with iSIP, which is the first blue box. Welcome back. Let's pick up where we left off. At this time, the program has already started. Do you have the right stuff? Now, the student is going to be progress monitoring, which is the program that we use to monitor and see their progress from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Um, those scores are used uh, to monitor them um, as a requirement from the state. So please make sure that your child has zero interruptions while they are progress monitoring. And if there is a, a need for an interruption, please make sure that they press the pause button, which is located in the bottom right corner next to the stop sign. Um, they need to use the pause button. This is a lot different from iXL. Um, the way that I um, iStation works is that if a child, while they are progress monitoring, um, takes too long to answer a question, it does mark it wrong for them and it moves on to the next question. So it does um, affect their overall score at the end. So please make sure that they are using the pause button if they need to be interrupted. But please, we do recommend that there are zero interruptions. Now, the way that you know that they are progress monitoring is at the bottom right corner, there is a progress meter that says test one, two, three, and four. There are four sections to this um, uh, test. And at the top right hand corner, it does say ICIP in progress. Okay, up here, it does say ICIP in progress. Now, once ICIP if ICIP in progress is still up there, that means that the child is still progress monitoring and should uh, continue until they are completely done. At the very end, the program will continue to run, but then that blue tab at the top where it says ICIP in progress will no longer show up. When that no longer shows up, that means that the child has completed their progress monitoring and can proceed to log out. 
So once they are done, they can go ahead and press the stop sign. And then they are going to be asked, are you sure you want to exit? At that point, you press yes. Please select an activity or you will, log out of iStation. You will be back at the main menu and then go ahead and press log out at the bottom right hand corner, um, the red button. Please enter your username and password. Now, if you are working from a laptop or a desktop, um, you will go into your uh, web application. And on the search engine, you go in and put iStation.com and then press forward slash support with the capital S and search. Now, if you are working from your laptop or your desktop, like I have said, you're going to need to scroll down. And you will be asked um, if you are working from a Windows or a Mac. So depending on what your platform is, you will need to select the blue tab and follow the download instructions. So it could download onto your desktop or laptop. And then once it is downloaded, you're just going to have to click in there and log in the same exact way. Use the same procedures. Um, by selecting the, the domain and the uh, using the ID number and uh, uh, password as I described in the um, application process. If you do have any questions or anything, please go ahead and let us know uh, so we can address it. Um, but that is the procedure for logging in. So thank you.